What's up, brothers and sisters? I'm JT for Cape Town, etc. And today we find ourselves in Camps Bay. We will be learning how to cook our own steak and eat it at Bovine. Let's go. Steak Club is, is 19 years in the making. It's just to try and get people that obviously are foodies together and to be able to communicate and have a platform where everybody that's a steak lover can share ideas. I'm a newbie in Cape Town, newbie in Camps Bay too. Having been a local grill in Joburg for many, many years, we had the opportunity to open something in Camps Bay. I don't think there's any better spot on the African continent. So um, it's a really, really incredible for us to be here. And, and bovine being beef related meant that that's obviously our background is in beef. And Pete Goffwood and myself decided we had to create a platform that was to take steak to the next level, but also to everybody, to get people excited about steak again. But not only just the primals, the fillet rump and sirloin, but other meat cuts. If you get the five basics right, you inevitably going to have a great, a great steak. And that is how you buy it, where you buy it from. Know the farmer or know the butcher. Very important, the source. Then we go to the preparation. Make sure that your steak is, if it's aged, even better. Because the aging process breaks down the connective tissue, making your beef before cooking more tender already. Then it's your fire. Get that fire or your cooking surface or your skillet or your pan as hot as possible. The heat, don't be afraid of heat. I think that's, that's really what it is. You're getting that, the browning, the maillard process, the caramelization on the outside, that's really, really important. Seasoning, I'm on to number four now, seasoning. The seasoning is either when it's cooking or before it's cooking. I prefer to season before cooking and then adjust during the cook and then a little bit more afterwards if needed. And number five, number five I think is the, is the important one is let it rest for a while. Let, let the meat juices reabsorb into the muscle fibers. That resting period can be 30 seconds, can be a minute. Obviously depending on the thickness of your steak, you don't want to lose too much temperature. In anyone's language, it's enough time where you can see that there's not meat juice running out of that steak. I say anything on the bone, really. If I were to be specific, maybe a cheap one. Why on the bone? Steaks that are on the bone have got character. So the bone gives out the juices, and that steak, dry aged, gives it a lot more character because the process is not crushed. So I'll be a, I'll be a dry steak tip on, best of both worlds, a sirloin and a filet. <laughs> Here at Bovine, we are about a collaborative beef space, and we love to hear ideas, but we also love to share ideas. Come on down, join us. I'm here, Pete's here, but we love that steak space. We want to make it, we want to make our space your space. And being in Camps Bay is just so flippin' sensational. We're just so grateful to be able to be here. So thanks to Cape Town for letting us in the door.